I think that if you look at the great players that Real Madrid have had, right up into you know, to the present generation of players like Figo and Zidane, of course, it's Buddy Nusens and Ronaldo. See, a player has fulfilled every potential we thought he had. He's two-footed, he's quick, he's great in the air. I mean, even if we're to lose one of those qualities, he's still going to be a great player. I'm proud of everything he's achieved. I'm proud of the fact he was at our club for six years. He's an incredible appetite to play and practice. He's got great physique. He's Ronaldo! I would say, without question, the boy has no fear. Absolutely no fear whatsoever. He'd get in the lines then if you asked him. So welcome to the Team of the Year Ronaldo play review guys. This man is one of the most electrifying players ever to play football and now has the joint best player card on FIFA. He plays for Real Madrid Liga BBVA in Spain and is currently costing around 6 million coins in the market. Cristiano has the power free kick trait along with flair and is also a long shot taker too. This card is just insane. Moving on to his in-game stats here and Ronaldo does have the highest total stats on FIFA 14 this year with 526 overall. Ronaldo's stats are just ridiculous guys he has the likes of 99 ball control 99 curve 99 dribbling 99 finishing 99 long shots 99 shot power 95 volleys 96 acceleration 97 agility 99 jumping 99 reactions 99 sprint speed and 99 stamina and some of these stats guys are just out of this world Ronaldo's 29 years of age he's six foot tall he's right footed with a high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate so really perfect work rates there for an attacking playmaker like him he also has four star weak foot and five star skill moves so let's get into the gameplay here guys of Team of the Year Ronaldo, he is just world class. So here is the team I'll be using for this video here guys, and we've got the likes of Casillas in goal, Chiellini, Inform Maicon, Inform Vidal, Inform Sanchez, we've got Varane and Marcelo at the back, we've obviously got Ronaldo there left wing, and we have Isco, Pogba and Benzema to complete the team. So yeah, let's go into the gameplay of the Team of the Year Ronaldo player review guys. Cristiano Ronaldo, the Ballon d'Or winner here, there's some nice skill moves there around that guy's defence, and boom in the top left corner, he gets the goal, and this man's power power shot and long shot on FIFA 14 is just insane it is mesmerizingly good in the game and his shot power accompanied with his strength his skill moves you could not get a more complete attacker if he tried especially with his high attacking work rate guys as well but look at that swerve past Victor Valdez in the back of the net there to get the goal and I love that technique as well look at that slow motion boom in the top left corner but in terms of team of the year plays guys he would be the best one of you so far um, in terms of the in terms of the attacks I've used likes of Ribery and Messi but Ronaldo is on a different level here but now he gets the ball here and he just completely smashes the ball there in the bottom right corner and from about the 25 yard distance guys you know that kind of range uh, Ronaldo will pretty pretty much score at least 85% of the time that's what I calculated looking back at these clips but good um, good uh, play by Ronaldo I, I literally held a sprint for the whole time and somehow he still gets past that guy's defence and gets the goal there for my team for me though guys where Ronaldo shines the most would be his shot power his strength his 5 star skill moves as well and couple that with a player who can score from anywhere on the pitch, especially from corners. The amount of goals Ronaldo gets from uh, corners on the game is crazy, especially headers and volleys. Um, but he is the complete attacker, though, as I said before, guys. He has everything he could possibly want in a left midfielder, and he scored way more goals than my striker Benzema um, in these in these uh, clips. With nice and really nice chip there by Ronaldo. That was a really lovely uh, scoop chip there to get the goal, and a very weird animation right there. I'm, I'm sure AA just fucked that one up. Like, what are they doing, man? Just come on, dude. But but yeah, good goal there by Ronaldo. I held LT and X to get this goal. L2 and I think it's square on the D-pad, oh, sorry, on um, PS4, uh, but nice nice goal there as I said before by Ronaldo, but overall though guys this guy, literally, it's very hard to come up with any weakness for the player, the only one you can maybe come up with would be defending, but even so you know, he's got the pace to track back and um, you know, even with that low attacking work rate, he does track back quite well, but a nice goal there to get by Ronaldo again in the bottom right corner but overall he would be um, the most electrifying player I've used this year, I mean even I'd probably prefer Ronaldo um, even over Pele, you know, he's better Better rated than Pele, he's got higher overall stats, and he's just even more godly than you could imagine than Pele. I mean, Pele would be my number two or number three player, I think. Um, Rude Hullet for me, though, is still my number one player of the year, but then I'd probably put Ronaldo number two so far. Um, but the more I've used Ronaldo, though, guys, the more I've fallen in love with this player on the game. He just scores so many goals for a left winger. It is honestly just insane. This time, though, gave the penalty to, sorry, yeah, Ronaldo in the end. Um, Vidal was going to take that one, but decided to give to Mr. Cristiano himself, and he booms it there in the top right corner. But another really awesome news, guys, tomorrow, I'm having a really cool meeting in Huddersfield in the UK. Um, 
um, to do with my FIFA website. So that's going to be really awesome. I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot of stuff on that. We've currently got 25 awesome, unique selling points for the site. So can't wait to do that. And we'll be doing Bronze Beast tomorrow, finally. Um, but good go there, Bernardo, guys. But in terms of his weaknesses, I would say defense is the only weakness. And even so, you can't really call that weakness because, you know, he's an attacker. They're, they're not... Um, really relied upon for their um, defensive prowess, prowess. But really good contract there by Alexis Sanchez. He gets it to Ronaldo, who dives in there in the bottom right corner to get the goal with a bit of a chicken dance celebration. And I did actually revert to my River Plate kit, and I'm, I'm actually about to buy the River Plate um, shirt in real life very soon online. So I'm really, I love, but I like them. If you don't know, I'm a really big football shirt collector, and I will be buying that one as well. Um, but yeah, good goal there by Ronaldo to get the goal again, and that guy, and uh, yeah, that guy decided to leave. And then another good goal here by Ronaldo to get the goal. Um, nice scoop, um, scoop turn, and gets the goal then, top and bottom right corner. But in terms of his overall stats, I am kind of surprised in a way that he does have the highest because you'd think that someone like Ruud Hill would be the highest. But if you didn't know, guys, the, the number two player, um, the second player with higher, highest overall stats is very controversial, and that is team of the Dani Alves. But a lovely volley there by Benzema from the assist from Cristiano Ronaldo. And his passing is really good as well. A lot of people don't realize how good he is at passing, um, but especially the scoop turns. He is unbelievably good at um, scoop turning the ball on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team especially when he gets into the opposing um, opposing half you know if this guy tears things up and with his five star skill moves you're going to see so many awesome skill moves um, with this play I think I got a few, a few good skill goals on this video but a good goal there by Ronaldo again with his power shot getting it past the keeper the keeper probably should have saved that um, but nevertheless he got the um, goal and then look at the pace of Ronaldo there to get the first time shot in the bottom right corner with this card and honestly guys it is one of the most interesting cards I've used because I wasn't really I didn't think he could be as good as the likes of Pele, but he actually surpassed me. Sorry, surpassed my opinion over Pele. You know, Pele was really just obviously amazing, but um, Ronaldo being in the left winger position and scoring this many goals is ridiculous. But look at that Rabona. I couldn't believe he nearly scored that. That would have been one of my best ever goals. And if you look at the qualities and the depth of qualities Ronaldo has, look at the pace there. He's got really good acceleration. Obviously, he's got amazing free kicks. He has everything. Good, good long shot. He's got good passing as well and very good vision for this play indeed. Hope you guys really enjoy this play review of Team the Ronaldo. It's been really awesome, good fun to do. Another good finish there by the man himself. And if we hit 5,000 likes, I'll be doing a Team of the Ibrahimovic review soon. I really can't wait to play with that guy. Apparently, he's just really just uh, so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though, and let me know what you think about Team of the Ronaldo. Would you ever um, would you ever consider him to be the best on the game? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you tomorrow, guys. I hope you enjoyed the team of the year Ronaldo play review. He is just incredible. By far the best winger I've used this year in FIFA. He has so many strengths in his game. If you enjoyed this video and want more player reviews, hit the like button below. Subscribe for more. And if you guys need coins, check out MMOGA. And who should I review next?